Hi, I'm Jim Spellos, and I am a, an educator and a teacher of technology, something I am passionate about and love doing and have been doing it now for over 20 years, traveling around the country, helping people become more productive with technology and, and more comfortable with it. I started looking at a plant-based diet a number of years ago because I had a weight issue and wasn't feeling good. I was traveling all over the country and I just didn't feel right. A lot of the time I felt lethargic and I knew I had to get the weight off. I had been diagnosed with high blood pressure a number of years back, but hadn't done anything about it. And so my wife and I actually found out about an approach, which was to be vegan most of the day. You know, vegan before six. And in 2014, we, we went on that path and I started to feel better and lose weight. But what really happened is in December of 2016, I had a stroke, I had an ischemic stroke and lost the right side of my body. It actually happened while I was driving a car. They brought me into ICU and spent a couple of weeks there and in rehab, having my right side of my body learn how to be used again, how to walk, how to write. So when we got back home, we were pretty clear that the path we were on with how we were eating needed to be embraced even further, because who knows what would have happened if we hadn't gone down the path prior to that. Subsequently, a year later, I had a heart issue where I almost had 0% blood flow bleeding from the Widowmaker artery. And so if the first stroke wasn't the issue of getting me to be completely whole food plant-based, when the second one was, we made the commitment at that point, and that was in, in March of 2018. And so now it's been three plus years where I've, I continued to eat that way, but also spent a lot of time learning about the science and all of the information that supported that this was a healthy approach. Our eating definitely has impacted our friends. How it's impacted is in different ways. For some of our friends, they've put more vegetables into their diet. For others, you know, they may be more aware of the fact that the things they thought were healthy weren't healthy. It's a journey. We didn't just jump into being full-time whole food plant-based on day one. It took us a number of years and a medical scare to be able to get there. So I don't think that you can assume for anyone that this is a switch where all of a sudden they turn it and one day they eat the standard American diet and the next day they're eating a complete whole food plant-based diet. So you have to respect the, the, the location of the journey that everybody is on. The beautiful thing about a plant-based diet is it is very affordable because once you start pulling meat and all of that the poultry and fish out of the diet, you're replacing that with more affordable food. So more beans and lentils and produce. I've compared the the amount of money we would spend on food before and after. And if nothing else, it's a wash. You know, that's pretty much the same. We're eating more because we can eat more healthy food and we need to, to be able to make sure that we always get the nutrition that we need. But at the same time, we're not eating the high end stuff that would not only be stuff that took us down financially, but also on a health basis. Don't wait till you have a stroke to take care of your health. I want you to be able to have the best life possible. And for me, it became really clear that that was driven by a whole food plant-based lifestyle.